Jack, and today we're talking about how to find the number of subatomic particles in an atom. So if you recall, we can use our periodic table of elements to find our atomic number, which is the number at the top, and our atomic mass, which is the number at the bottom. Remember, our atomic number is like our ID number. Every time the atomic number changes, the ID changes or changes to a new atom. So our atomic number is also equal to our number of protons. So how do we find the number of neutrons and electrons? Dun dun dun! Eight man to the rescue! So remember, if we find our eight man, our atomic number equals our protons, and that equals our electrons. And our mass number minus atomic number equals our neutrons. So 8-man can help us out in finding the number of protons, electrons, and neutrons in any atom using the periodic table of elements. All right, so let's try a couple of review questions, some challenging questions, and you're gonna do them with me to see if you can get it too. So let's start with question number one. How many total combined number of positively charged particles do calcium and helium have? So first, we need to find calcium and helium on the periodic table. After we do that, we'll be able to see their atomic number and mass. So for calcium, our atomic number is 20. Remember, A equals P equals E. So our atomic number is 20, which means our protons are 20 and our electrons are 20. If we had our mass, our mass is 40.078. Remember how we round, we always round our mass to a whole number so we get rid of the numbers after the decimal. If it's five or more, we raise the score and we would add to this number. If this number is four or less, we get rid of the rest and our mass would be 40. Minus our atomic number, so our neutrons, I left out the A there, that's okay. Our neutrons would be 40 minus 20, which is 20. Now we do the same thing for helium. This is our calcium and our helium. A equals P equals E, M minus A equals N. Our atomic number for helium is two. So our protons are two, electrons are two. Our mass is 4.0026, so four, five or more or four or less. It's four or less, so we get rid of the rest. Our mass stays four minus our atomic number. How many neutrons do we have? Two, okay, let's go back to the question. How many total combined number of positively charged particles? Which one of these are positively charged? Our protons, so I'm going to circle those, total for calcium and helium. So total, remember, what are we going to have to do? We're going to add them. So 20 plus 2, how many total positively charged particles does calcium and helium have? 22. Good job. Question number 2. The element silicon has an atomic number of 14 and atomic mass of 28. What are the number of subatomic particles found inside the nucleus? So we can find this on the periodic table and we would see silicon on the periodic table is atomic number 14. So what are we gonna do? Dun dun dun! Eight man to the rescue! Okay, our atomic number, it gives it to us, 
So that is 14. How many protons? 14 and electrons? Remember, those numbers are the same. What's our mass? It gives us that too. Our atomic mass is 28. Minus our A, atomic number. How many neutrons do we have? Okay, our question asks, what are the number of subatomic particles found inside the nucleus? Which particles are inside the nucleus again? Our protons and our neutrons are in the nucleus. So we're going to add these together. The total number of particles in the nucleus would be 28. Good job. All right, question number three. Determine the total number of subatomic particles in an atom of iron. So iron's a little tricky, but we need to find it on our periodic table. So if you find it, we notice our symbol is a little bit different, then it's not gonna be an I, it is, did you find it? Fe is iron. So it has an atomic number of 26. And what are we gonna do to, to find our subatomic particles? Dun to dun. Eight man to the rescue. Okay, iron, our atomic number is 26. So how many protons are we gonna have? 26, how many electrons? 26, all the same. And what is our mass of iron? It is 55.845. So this number eight, five or more, raise the score. We're going to add one to this number. So we have 56 minus our A. How many neutrons do we have? All right, so total number of subatomic particles. Which of these are the subatomic particles, the parts of an atom? Our pin, P-E-N. So we're gonna add all of those up. 26 plus 26 plus 30. Use your handy dandy calculator and you would get 82 total number of subatomic particles in an atom of iron. Great job. Now I know that you can handle any of the challenging questions. Just pay attention to those key words. So total, or if it asks for the difference, what would we do? Subtract. All right, you got this. See you next time.